Gibby Gang. Let's dive all the way in. Worldwide exclusive. Yo, Gibby Gang, stand up with your boy. A7X is, of course, back in the building. I didn't even have time to do the beard on this one, y'all. You've been requesting this one like crazy, Gibby Gang, and I appreciate it. Strength of the World is finally here. It's a long one. It's probably one of their longest tracks, if not the longest track they have, but y'all correct me on that in the comments. But shout out to Matt Lascavage on uh, my Tonight the World Dies video. That was reaction number 37 to Avenge Sevenfold. This will be 38. So, hey, we're throwing it back to the City of Evil album, which I believe dropped in 2005. I had to look up a little context about the song because I, I like to give y'all the info. I like to be informed. So when I make an interpretation, it's not way over my head and way out there in, in the yonder. So I guess it's about the death of one's family. The outlaws were after the main character, but killed their whole family. The main character comes home to this and sets sets to avenge their death no matter the cost. This song has some religious factors in it, such as when it says, I can't turn my cheek away. You're supposed to forgive under Christian viewpoints. You know I'm a Christian man, but the main character can't, which none of us are perfect. Only Jesus was perfect. So, I mean, we all have flaws. We all sin. You got to ask for forgiveness and keep it pushing but can't turn away from the death of their family the main character also says they'll sin when they have to over overall the whole story is about revenge so that hey y'all heard it here first gibby gang i got the lyric version full screen respect nine minutes and 14 seconds noggin thumpers of course banger shades close by i gotta make sure i, I put these things on if i'm rocking with it this time uh r.i.p to the rev of course sinister gates zacky vengeance johnny christ m shadows of course i know they're gonna come with it on this one so let's get it popping This is probably the most highly anticipated request I've had. I see Clint Eastwood is back. Saddle up. I like that. Oh, this is definitely a Western vibe. I'm ready for this. That's when you're like on. You, you can hear it in the, in the tone of the the instrumentals. You can hear it like that's when you're on your way home. You think you're going to see your family, lay it down, and, and all of that. But little do they know, they all gonna be dead when they, that man. That would be awful. That would be the worst. They brought the orchestra for this one. Who would... I know that ain't Rev on the. Oh, it's that time. We're getting back now. Yeah. So they done take off the wrong crowd, give me day. Okay. Got me sniffling already. Hold on. This is going to be one of my favorites. <laughs> hold on, can I get that again? Give me, I know they're about to say it again, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, at, at, at one point, you... 
man, that would suck. Because you got to look in the mirror and say, you know what? They were after me. If it wasn't for me messing up, whatever you did, whatever the outlaws were after you for, whatever people are trying to get, like, take you down for, that, that's your problem. Now they take it out on your family because you were, weren't there to pay the piper. So that, man, that would be a tough pill to swallow. <laughs> but then, obviously, you're going to go out and get revenge. Like, it's... It's it's hard, man, because in, in one in one sense of the the good book, it says like, "Thou shalt not seek revenge." Like, forgive thy neighbor, you know, love thy neighbor like thy love thyself, and you got to love your enemies just as much as you love thy neighbor. But that's not in quotes, obviously. But at some sometimes, man, you just like, man, I got to get them back. Like, it's the only way I'm gonna feel right. But it's, it's man, <laughs> none of us are perfect. That, that's what I got to say. None of us are perfect. You just got to keep on striving, pray about it, and, and keep on pushing. Now, I I don't know what I would do in this situation because me. I'm, I got guns all, always ready. If somebody breaks into my house, please believe you got to go. If you try to harm my family, or if you do harm my family, most likely I'm, I'm, I'm going to get you back. Like It just is what it is. I got to be real with you. I'm, I'm a human being. I'm not perfect, and that is what it is. I'm going to pray for forgiveness, and hey, we're going to go from there. for copyright purposes hold on so he's saying like I, I literally have nothing left i have i have no wife to wake up to i have no no kids to go to go tuck into bed to, to read stories to to watch them grow like my family is gone like how do i live he, he's saying i'm suicidal so i'm gonna get my revenge I'm, i didn't plan on coming back i plan on taking them out getting getting what's coming to them and and, and rolling out now god always has the last word let, let god take the way but it's hard, man. That's that's like one of the toughest things to, to break down as a, as a as a Christian man, as a non-perfect man. Far, far from it. Because I used to be sending left and right. I'm I'm nowhere near perfect. I don't know what I would do in that situation if my family was if my wife was taken from me, just my wife alone. Like that that's my everything. I love that woman to death till death do us part. If somebody took my wife from me before it was her time, before God called her home, I, man, that's man's doing. Like man did that. I, I can't. I can't honestly sit here and say that I, I could. I could pray and, and be cool with that. Like I would have to go get that. I don't. It, it's tough, man. What would y'all do? Like I really want to know. What would you do in that situation? Would you go get revenge? Would you go take them? You could be the most godly man possible, but it would take a, a whole different sort of beast, a whole different sort of willpower to not go get that person back. It's hard, man. Because if somebody hits me, I was never taught to just sit there curl up in a ball. I was. I was taught if somebody hits you, like hit them ten times harder, knock them down. So. 
that's that's something I still struggle with today. Like it, it, getting revenge. If somebody does me wrong, like everything in me says I got to do them ten times more wrong to make them feel this pain. I, maybe I'm wrong for that. that. The good book says I am wrong for that. So how do we how do we find that middle ground? Y'all let me know. I don't mean to, to sound disrespectful, A7X fam, but hold on, let me bring this back. This sounds like completely different genre. This sounds like this one part, like, correct me if I'm wrong, this like three to five second increment right here, it sounds like Green Day Boulevard <laughs> Broken Dream. Say this. Don't, say, you know, here. Hold on. This right here. Walking a lonely road. Lonely road, he's never known. So a killer falling from the light is he saying like god came came down and took his family before him because that was that was a crime man, man committed god god will never condone violence you know what i'm saying it goes back to the stories of cain and abel like of uh, where the name avenge sevenfold came from you know what i'm saying go read the story you know what i'm talking about but god will never condone violence so there's certain decisions men make i mean the, the proof is in in the pudding look all around you rape all those things god doesn't condone those those are men chosen actions those are people that have fallen off the path or never found the path that the good book lays out for you don't blame god for that blame man for that it, not everybody is following the good word look at look look around at the world today people need to find the good word because it gives you all the directions to be a good person if you follow the good book and you you live your life that way 
them, them people ain't out there committing murders. Them people are the, the genuine people that, that strive to live the best they can through Jesus Christ. They're not out there committing murders, raping, stealing, cheating on their wives, their husbands, acting a fool. That's not what the good book condones. So stop blaming the Bible. Stop blaming God. And, and look in the mirror. Men make men and women choose certain the, the actions that they take. Like you, you are in charge of the choices that you make each day. God doesn't approve of all them choices. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. You, at certain, some point, you got to take responsibility. Don't blame God and say, I don't, this probably, this lyric probably has nothing to do with God, a killer falling from the light, but man, what would you, it, it's hard, man, because literally his family is probably all, that was his whole motivation, his whole purpose of getting up every single day to live, and that's been taken from him by man or woman, whoever the outlaws were, could be a woman, women killers too, so how do you say don't go get them back because he has nothing left he like he feels like he has to he has to go get vengeance and then you could you could take him out like he, he gone he's gone after that nothing left to live for so that's it's a horrible situation i i feel with you i sympathize with you because i don't know what i would do i would probably do the same thing i'd probably go take them all out like as, as gruesome as possible that's just how how my mind operates but i'm not perfect also like you're not perfect either so i don't i don't know man let's have a conversation in the comments but don't blame god for that like we make our own choices i wasn't always making the most godly choices that's why i was single that's why i was acting a fool and back there that's why i'm here now so i don't know man but the song y'all are laying it out in a beautiful fashion Now it sounds, it, you know, instrumentals and music, it gives us a feeling. That's why we keep coming back to it. But it sounds like you were victorious, but really were you? Because your family is still, just because you went and got them, that's not gonna bring your family back. Like your family is still not brought back. That's where the confusion arises. And that's where we gotta have that conversation. Like, okay, if you go take them out, then you're just as bad as them because that's not gonna bring your family back. Now they're dead. Your family's dead, it's just you. So really, did, did you accomplish anything? Like you might've it felt good in the moment, but usually after you do that and you get that revenge or you say that thing that you think is gonna hurt that person and belittle them, then you become it, like eye to eye with them. You become just as bad as them because you committed the same crime, the same sin. So really, I don't, we all just gotta get better, man. It's, it's, it's hard to turn the other cheek. Like it really is. Like it's hard to be a conservative, me, me speaking personally these days and see all the tragic stuff that I completely disagree with, abortion going down. Like I'll speak out against it, no problem. It's hard to, to see that and not point it out. Like I'm gonna always point it out, but that doesn't mean that I have to go take that person out because that puts me just as bad as them killing people. So uh, it, it's, it's a rough climate to live in. The best you can do is keep on praying, keep on asking God for the path and keep on just pushing each day as best as you can. Do not give up. There is a plan set in, in place for you. It's already written. You just gotta, you just gotta not give up and keep on pushing. But I love y'all, man. I'm praying for you. Strength of the world that definitely delivered. I, I don't know how to. I can't place these in order because there's so many great events, sevenfold songs. I can't label them in order. I'd be doing them a disservice. It's just phenomenal music every time. That's where my playlist is growing week after week, and I'm not gonna stop doing these reactions. So comment below the next one I gotta do. Again, shout out to y'all for. Uh, let me go ahead and who, who was it that requested this one? Matt Lascavage. Thank you again. That had, had the most likes on the in the comment section of my tonight the world dies video. So whatever the comment is the most liked in this one. If one of my Patreon members doesn't request something first, they do pay to be Patreon. Uh, if they don't beat you to it, then the most liked comment on this video will be the next one I do. So I love y'all, man. Keep on requesting. Subscribe if you're new. Notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Uh, if you want to see what I do for, for real work outside of this because all these get copyrighted anyways, uh, stay till the end of this video. Email me if you got questions. If not, man, just, just keep on going. Keep finding something to grasp onto with inspiration each day. And eventually you're going to be where you want to be. But for right now, we got work to do. D. Gibby, out.
So you want to learn how to trade. You've made it to this point in the video. By, by this time, it's the end of the video and you want to learn how to trade. You want to learn how to do what your boy does for every, every single day. I teach people how to do it. I've been doing it, but I don't think you really have what it takes to do it. If you do, you'll get a hold of me via Instagram, via email, whatever it takes. Don't believe the hype that you see on Instagram as far as like I am Academy and I'm calling them out. All them, them special gurus that make it seem easy, that send out signals, that, that give you money in the bank. It's not money in the bank. You got to put in the work time after time. It's going to take you a solid six to 12 months to, you heard what I said, six to 12 months to really attain this skill set and be able to discipline yourself to be consistent in making money. It's not going to happen overnight. Nobody can just hand you money. If people are handing out signals and they're handing out all this and that, it's fake. Don't believe the hype, man. They don't allow anybody to put to put your money in their hands man you got to learn how to do this skill set on your own so you don't have to rely on anybody to trade but yourself man so if you're if you're serious about it if you're tired of the situation you're in you see what i've done over the past five years you see how i've worked my way from from being from illinois to living on the beach in florida i'm not going to say where because just disclose information y'all see this post on instagram y'all see where i'm at i'm not doing that to flex i'm saying what's possible through trading after you put in the hard work time and time again if you really want to learn get a hold of me i would love to help you if not if you're happy with your present lifestyle that's perfectly okay i'm not on a pedestal you're not on a pedestal we're all on the same page i'm just saying if you want to learn another skill set and acquire some whether it's a supplemental income or a full-time income i'd love to help you so get a hold of me and we'll make it happen if not man y'all have a blessed day i'm gone